What is going on everybody? It's your boy Geekasaurus Rex coming at you live with another video. I know that it's been quite some time. I have been busy. If you could see these bags under my eyes right now, like, oh my god. Yes, it has been crazy. I've been super busy with work, school, private life. It's just been uh, it's just been daunting, to be honest with you. So I apologize about that, guys. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. As you can see, just so you guys can see, I'm here. I'm in here in one of my uh, apartments here that we are doing some work on. We are also doing some work throughout the entire property. I've got about uh, 12 units that I'm doing. This place is completely empty. Hello. Hello, hello. Yes, so I am back. I'm doing some big, awesome things. Now, I had gotten some comments below uh, stating that no email was received or anything like that. Make sure that you send me your email in the link so that I could reach out to you, um, and then you can let me know what what exactly you won because we've we have done a couple of giveaways, maybe like three or four. And uh, some of those prizes have gone unclaimed. So you got to let me know uh, what it is you won. I will go back to the video and I will verify uh, that you won. And then we can go from there. So yeah, uh, I have not forgotten. Everybody that has reached out to me uh, to claim their prize has gotten their prize. Uh, I believe the last one uh, was for James. James, again, congratulations. So yeah, we're going to be doing more giveaways. Um, we do have the giveaways to do uh, today, so I'll be getting into my office. We'll be doing that. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys just to give you an idea of what's going on. We got a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work. So um, this is this is pretty crazy here. So uh, we've got twelve. We've got twelve units. Um, that I'm doing here. I'm gonna switch the camera around here. Give me a so yeah, we got 12 units. One of them has a pretty bad leak, as you as you can hear. So we'll take care of that. The uh, little cartridge has gone out that regulates the water. But as you can see here, we have a bunch of units that we're doing. This is the one I was at. This is another one. People left their stuff here. I get the uh, I get to throw all that out. We got a couple more units. This will kind of be what the finished product will look like. I've got a little coffee station there for my guys, but this is kind of what the finished product will look like as far as you know tile work, uh, kitchen. We're going into the big spooky abyss and then check that out Ooh, very nice fancy but yeah so um you know that's what that's what these are going to look like when it's all said and done and then right here we'll get a washer dryer in there so yeah it'll be nice uh we're upgrading electric we're doing plumbing um, I get a lot of people that always ask me questions as far as, hey, uh, I, you know, I'm planning to buy a, uh, a house or I'm planning to buy a condo and I want to rent it out. W you know, what are your recommendations? What are your, um, what are your thoughts on that? And it's like, well, I mean, the business is great. I mean, the business is great as long as people pay, right? As long as people pay, the business is great. And then right now with this whole um, this whole situation where you know you really can't evict anybody till next year. I mean, there are people taking advantage of it. I'm not gonna say that I've not had to deal with it because I have. I mean, you know, and, and I feel for people because I completely understand. I mean it's not easy, right? It's definitely not easy right now. So this is another one right now that we're doing. We're adding an extra bathroom there into this bedroom here. We've got a bathroom there. We'll be fixing up the floors. We're going to be, we opened up the uh, living to um, kitchen here. So yeah, it's, 
it's a lot of work we're doing. We're actually doing 56 units, guys. 56 units. So this is this is why your boy has been super busy. You know, um, this is yeah. This is why I have been completely and utterly busy. So again, I, I you know I don't like to make excuses, but I mean this is a pretty good excuse. I mean I've been so freaking freaking busy. So now you guys know. But yeah, as I was saying before, I mean right now with everything going on. Um, it's pretty difficult out there for, for people. And I'm not one that's like, oh my God, you got to pay your rent. Ah, you know, I understand it. I understand that people are having a rough time right now. I completely get that. So I try to work it out with people. I try to be um, as compassionate as possible with people. But then there's some people that just like to uh, take advantage of the situation. You see them out there and they're, you know, like this one guy uh, I have at one of my properties, he's like, oh, you know, I've, I can't pay. I've lost my job. I'm blah, 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 blah. I can't, you know, blah, 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 this and that. Just coming up with every excuse under the table. And I'm just like, wow, man. I said, you know what? Take your time. You know, um, I'll work with you, you know, this and that. So this is a true story. So I uh, went to my... Uh, I went to his um, apartment complex, you know, to the uh, apartment complex. I had to check on something. I, I forgot what it was, but um, I'm in one of the buildings there and the window's wide open, okay? So how it works is where the window's at, the parking lot is right there. And so I'm there with the window open and I'm talking to the guys, you know, and I'm just like looking through my phone and I hear this like really loud um, car show up and I'm just like, what the hell? And they look out the window and it's the guy and he's and he's in this brand new like Mustang and I'm just like, what the hell? You know? And I'm just like, what is going on here? You know? And I'm like, how did this guy get a Mustang? Like, what? So I'm just like, whatever, you know, whatever. It's not, it's not, it's none of my business, right? So he gets out of his car, he shuts it off, he gets out of his car. This this really pretty girl gets out of the other side. And he's just like talking it up the whole big game. He's like, yeah, girl, you know, I've been, uh, I've been making money moves and been doing this and that. And I've been, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just like just talking this huge big game about how he's got money, how he does this, how he does that. And I'm just like, what? So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So um, I'm like, all right, all right. So I quickly like go outside of the apartment because he has to come in so I'm like all right all right I'm gonna pretend like you know so I'm standing there and he's walking in he's he doesn't even notice me and he's just talking and talking and talking and he's like oh yeah yeah I've got this you know I've got you know I you know I just bought this car uh blah 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 this and that you know and I'm just like wow and so I'm, you know so so he's walking and I'm just like Hey man, nice car. And he looks up at me, freaking just goes red, like like just goes pale, and like like his heart just sank in his chest, and he's just like, "Oh hey man," and I'm like, "Hey," and he's like, "Oh, I, I was meaning to call you." I was like, "All right, so sounds good, right?" Long story short, this guy worked for himself. He was a con he was a contractor or something like that, and so he took out a PPE loan, and I was just like, "You use." your PPE loan to buy a brand new car. I was like, that's shady as hell. Whatever, man. I don't care. Just pay your damn rent. Right. But yeah, man, that's, that's, that's a true story. This guy used his PPE loan to buy himself a brand new car. And I'm just over here like, really, you gave me this huge sob story. So, you know, like I said, there's, there's people that abuse it, but there's people that are really genuinely going through a rough patch. And it's, it's honestly going to get rougher, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we've got this devastation on both sides of the U.S. You have uh, fires going on in California. You've got this, these hurricanes just devastating uh, the coast. So it's, it's man, it's, it's bad. It's bad. So 
uh, prices for materials have gone up. It, it's just, this is why I've been getting no sleep, all right? This is why. This is why I've been getting no sleep. I've been eating like crap. You can tell from my quadruple chin right now. Like, it's, it's bad. It's bad. So, you know, I just wanted to make this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm here. I am, I am still going strong. I promise you I'll be putting in more time and more videos in this. Uh, and then once I get to my office here in, a, in here in a bit, we'll do the giveaways, all right? So for me, the most important thing is to be here for you guys. And so I had a couple people ask me some questions of like what I would invest in as far as stocks go. So as many of you know, and as many of you have seen, uh, as of late, um, the stock market has been, you know, it, it kind of took a hit. But in all reality, your stocks like Tesla and Apple, uh, they actually split. So um, that's something that I would, if I'm a first-time investor, I would definitely take advantage of. Um, if I made this video beforehand, I, I would have probably said, if you have, if you have the money, I would have probably bought stocks in it before the split because the percentage would have still been worth it, you know. Um, but I would say if you're planning to buy those stocks, you have to be willing to just hold them, okay. So my thing for you is Apple and Tesla, they're going to go up. I mean, how far will they go up? Well, I think Apple is the safer bet. I think Tesla, I think Tesla is a great stock, but I think Tesla rides on Elon Musk's um, coattails. So as soon as Elon Musk fails or if Elon Musk retires or whatever, I think Tesla will take a big hit. But again, who knows? These are all just my opinions, my thoughts, obviously, uh, you know, these companies pay millions and millions of dollars and thousands of dollars uh, for someone to go in and analyze all these situations, all these stocks, and even they're wrong. So, you know, just, just, just take what I say uh, with a grain of salt and remember that any, any type of investment has a risk, right? So, that to me is the biggest thing is, 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 is like I say, invest in what you know. So obviously we know Apple, obviously we know Tesla, but if that's not something that you're comfortable with, invest in something that you know. Always be willing to invest in something that you know because you're, you're, you're on top of it. You know what's going on with what you know. No one has to be like, hey, take that extra step to do a little bit of research. No, you know about it. You're on it. Like for me in Snapchat, like I, I, I talk about this all the time. I'm on Snapchat all the time. I got friends that message me on Snapchat. I know Snapchat. I know when the new filters come out. I know when people go crazy with it and they're just spreading the filters all around. And that's what I know, right? But... It always changes. It always changes. You gotta be willing to change with the times, right? So that's my recommendation is if you have the money, if you have the money, I would invest it in Apple. It's the cheaper out of the two. And my plan is I'm going to just hold on to it probably 10, 15 years. You know, this is a this is not a race. This is not a race. So 10 to 15 years, I'm planning to hold on to this. And that is my recommendation to you, is that um, I know a lot of my viewers are very young. And so you're here for the long game, my friends. You're here for the long game. So invest in it, hold on to it, and just watch your money grow. I mean, these things are going to go up. Inflation is going to go up. By the time we are 20 years old, inflation, it, by the time we're 20 years old, <laughs> in 20 years, inflation will definitely be up. Inflation will probably be up, you know, from, from today, 30 years from now or 20 years from now, inflation will probably be up 20 to 30%. So even just having your money sitting in stocks, 
will help it grow with inflation. So that's what I always tell people is like, if you invest it in the right stock that you know is going to grow, it helps you because inflation is going to, uh, it's going to keep rising. It's not going to stop. Inflation is something that will never stop. It'll keep happening. It'll keep growing. So you want to put your money into something that will grow alongside it or even surpass inflation. So that's why I'm saying if you're going to do this, invest in it for the long run, for the long haul, pretty much. So yeah, that's my recommendation for you guys. But we have many other things to talk about. Um, we, oh, oh, the boys, the boys just came out on Amazon. Uh, now they're doing it like a Disney Plus with the Mandalorian where it's Every week on Friday is a new episode. I have just caught up on it. It is good. It is good. I really enjoy it. Uh, the Boys is a great show. Uh, it is really gory, but it is really good. I really enjoy it. The cast is awesome. We've met some uh, new superheroes. I'm not going to give too much away, but it is good. It is good. So definitely check that out. Now, in other news um, that I want to bring up to you guys, Netflix just announced that they are going to be doing a Resident Evil type of show, which now they just they just showed the script. They haven't really gone into too much detail of what it will consist of, but we are going to keep our eyes on that because you know that your boy is a huge Resident Evil fan. Yes, I am a fanboy when it comes to Resident Evil. I will not deny it. I'm all about the Resident Evil. So check that out as well. Now guys, what else can we talk about? Now, I know that I love to do giveaways, so I think this week what I'm going to do is I've got a giveaway for another Lego package for you guys, as well as another $20 PSN gift card. And then, you know what? Because tomorrow's Taco Tuesday, I'll probably do a Taco Bell. Now, I, now I always say that Taco Bell isn't considered uh, uh, authentic tacos, but to be honest with you, I can't get a gift card to El Pepe's right across the street. So I'll have to do Taco Bell. But I'm going to do a $10 gift card to Taco Bell to celebrate Taco Tuesday tomorrow. Because your boy loves tacos. And maybe one day I'm just going to sit here and just eat a taco in front of you. Because that's how much I love tacos. Okay? I love them. So guys... Make sure, make sure, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you keep watching your boy because your boy's doing it big. But as always, guys, I'm your boy, Geekasaurus Rex, and I will catch you on the flip side. Now, uh, before I go, I will be doing my live, my giveaways on my Facebook Live, so it won't be in this video, but check out the links below. All right, guys. Peace. Peace and love, fellas. Peace and love, ladies and gentlemen. You guys take it easy. Bye.